In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to find activities that are impacting a milestone in your schedule. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Hani Ismail from Planning Engineer website. In this video, I'm going to reply one of our colleagues' questions asking Hani. When we have a milestone like this one, okay, this milestone is South Road finish date. And my project manager asked me, I need the activities that are affecting this milestone. So uh, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to find activities that are impacting a milestone, a milestone in your schedule. So there are two ways. One is easy way and the other one is a smart way. So let's start with the easy way. So I can make filter with activity ID or activity name. Let's make the filter with the activity name contains or equals to our value. Okay, now I'm going to the relationships that in the predecessor and I'll click go to where the relationship driving is checked. Driving means this, there are three activities, but two of them are driving this activity dates. How to show the driving column? Very simple, right click and then click customize predecessor and put the driving here. So I'm going to click and go to, then I'll go again, click and go to the second one. Now I have filter for the activities that are impacting this my Stone. But what if I have a milestone that is connected with too much activity? I'm going to do it one by one? No. The second way is smarter. Now I have the total float of 44 days. I need to make the total float of the activity or the milestone I'm looking for less than 44, let's say 45, 46, 50 or whatever. So I'm going to put one constraint to use my filter. I can remove this constraint later on, no problem. So I can make it finish on and let's choose instead of finishing 29 May, let's make it 28 February. Now I have here the total float, it changed it to 75. I can simply make one filter where the total float is less than, I can make 74 days. So whatever activity is less than 74 days, it will be definitely related to this milestone and in that case i can see the relevant activities so in that case you can make your filter to show the activities related to uh, a certain uh, milestone and this method will show all the relevant activity not only to the milestone but to the activity affecting the milestone for example here the trees is affecting uh, the milestones but the trees is affecting by the planting mediums and the planting medium is affected by the irrigation and the irrigation is affected by the paving so in that case if you would like to show all the relevant activities that are connected together and impacting this milestone it, this method will be uh, much better okay so now you can of course don't show the total float because it is not realistic total float now you can hide the total float and you can make a report showing that this milestone is delayed because of this active i hope you will find this video useful to you if you would like to download a pdf version of this video you will find the link below